The polls opened this Sunday morning at 6 a.m. And since then, we've seen a steady stream of people coming to the school, which has been turned into a polling station behind me. Now, we're in the tiny village of Watinka, which is part of the Kaumu uh, township, which Aung San Suu Kyi is running for. And it is a special place, as this is where the opposition leader decided to visit first. She stayed in this village overnight, and she came to visit some of the supporters and those voting for her earlier today. Now, many residents here actually seem quite hopeful about this by-election. I spoke to one 18-year-old who said it was her first time voting, and she was very happy she got the chance to be part of a democratic process. We also spoke to a 95-year-old woman who would have been through the British and the Japanese colonization and also through 50 years of brutal military regime. And she was hopeful that after this vote, there could be change and it could be positive change. She was hoping for a better life. But of course, uh, there are some problems. Aung San Suu Kyi said it's not a free and fair election as there have been voting irregularities, but it is still important to be part of this process. She is the most uh, internationally recognized candidate in this election, but there are 17 parties that are part of this election. The voting itself will end later today, but it could take up to a week before we get the results. Paula Hancock, CNN, Kamu Province, in Myanmar.